What's up, everybody? I'm Mike, and this is the Nexus 7. So let's start with the outside. The new Nexus 7 is lighter and thinner than the original. It's more narrow, so it's a lot easier to hold. The bezels on the side are thinner, but the bezels on the top and the bottom are a little thicker. The finish on the back is a different material. The original Nexus 7 had more of a leather material, where the new one is a matte black soft touch. I really like the way it feels. They also rotated the Nexus logo. The screen is the same size as the original, but this one packs a full 1080p display with a PPI of 323, which is the highest of any tablet right now. The viewing angles are amazing, and the color saturation isn't too warm, but it's not dull at all either. It looks incredible. One thing that I was really looking forward to is that the Nexus 7 has stereo speakers. Well, they aren't terrible, but they aren't anywhere close to the HTC One. Another problem is the location of them, on the back, and right in a spot where your hands are most likely going to be. I find myself covering a decent amount of the speakers often. Don't get me wrong, they are an improvement from last year's model, but not the improvement that I hoped for. One of the most pointless additions to this tablet was a camera on the back. It has a 5 megapixel camera and it sucks. I mean, you don't look as stupid taking pictures with a 7 inch tablet compared to a 10 inch, but still, it wasn't necessary and I'd never use it anyway because of how bad it is. There's grain pretty much in any lighting and the coloring is just off. The front camera is a 1.2 megapixel. The new Nexus 7 packs 2 gigs of RAM, Bluetooth 4.0, NFC, quad-core S4 Pro 1.5 GHz CPU, and it comes in either 16 gig or 32 gig model. Also, it comes in either Wi-Fi or an LTE model, and the LTE model will support T-Mobile, AT&T, and Verizon all in the same device. They dropped the battery down a little. It's a 3950 milliamp battery, and I've been using it for the past two weeks, and I haven't really noticed a big difference. I usually don't have to charge it for a few days. One cool thing they added was wireless charging. It works perfectly with the Nexus 4 wireless charging orb. When it's on the charger, it's propped up and easy to use, and with the use of Daydream, it turns into a clock when not in use. This is the first device to be shipped with 4.3. So far I haven't noticed any lag at all. Whether it's just normal use or intense gaming, this device handles it all without a problem. I was really happy to see that they added a notification light until I realized it was only white. So I can't set it to different colors to actually know what I missed. Also I was really hoping for haptic feedback. Other than that, this is still the best tablet for the money. I think the screen alone makes the device worth buying. Combined with the fact that it's thinner, lighter, more narrow, supports wireless charging, has higher specs, and comes with the newest version of Android, I think it's a steal. The only thing that Apple still has over Android is app selection. So if you're thinking about coming from an iPad, then check play.google.com and see if the apps you need are available. If this video helped you out at all, please leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you know when I have a new video. See you guys next time. Oh,